What's up everybody, Trevor here. Welcome back to our next video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about and learning about how to read ingredients. This honestly could be one of the most important things to know when making this transition to a plant-based lifestyle. Never, 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 never do I ever, <laughs> I, will, I will never buy anything without first reading the ingredients. And it's just become a habit, honestly, and it's a habit you will learn to adopt as well when you're shopping or eating out. Um, because when you're, when you're plant-based and vegan, you're gonna learn that almost, I shouldn't say everything, so many things have milk in it. It's like, what the heck? You pick up something, you're like, oh, this looks good vegan. And it has it says milk or eggs and it's like <laughs> so never do I, I don't ever buy anything or eat anything without knowing the ingredients and so i wanted to show you guys just i just grabbed a couple things and i just wanted to give you guys a couple examples here and so this is just some cereal but again always 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 i'll show you i always turn it everything i buy i read the ingredients i read everything in it and um, it, it took some time to learn what certain ingredients are and how to read the ingredients. Most people just kind of look at the nutrition facts, but the most important thing you want to read is the ingredients because it's going to tell you what exactly is in it. And every, everything's a little different. Like you can even see right here, it says vegetarian. And that just means people who don't eat meat. So they still eat, you know, eggs and milk and cheese and dairy. Um, so you could see that and you might not think this is vegan, but that's why you read the ingredients. And so it just has flour, wheat meal, cane sugar, oat flour, spelt flour, barley flour, millet, malt extract, quinoa, sea salt, and honey. So you can see there that to be considered, a lot of um, people don't consider themselves vegan they don't call themselves vegan um, if they, or it's the other way. So people will say plant-based if they don't eat honey or, or the other way around, sorry. So if someone does eat honey, they'll consider themselves plant-based because honey is technically an animal product. So even um, people who call themselves completely vegan do not eat honey. So the reason this does not say vegan right here is because it has honey, which is considered an animal product. So that's, that's more of a personal decision that you're going to make um, doing your own research on honey and if it's good or not for the environment and for the bees. My wife and I have recently pretty much for the most part taking honey out of our diet as well. Um, this still has honey in it, but we used to do a lot of honey and tea and stuff. We don't really do that anymore. Um, so that was kind of the one of the last things that we cut out was honey. But you can see the reason this is vegetarian here is just because there's honey. So it's not considered vegan because of the honey. Uh, something else here or some waffles, you know, who doesn't love a good waffle, right? <laughs> And this is chocolate. Almost, almost all chocolate has milk in it. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. There's not a lot of vegan chocolate out there. It's hard to find. But you can see on this right here, it says vegan. Okay. But even when I see that, I'm still going to read the ingredients because you never know. <laughs> so then when I go to this ingredient list, okay, brown rice flour. <clears throat> this is key here where it says chocolate chips. Reading that. Because that's usually where you're going to see the milk is in the chocolate. So something like this that has chocolate in it usually has milk. But this, these chocolate chips do not. It has cane sugar, chocolate liqueur, and cacao butter. So usually it's milk chocolate. This is cacao butter. So it's there's no milk in it. And it's soy and vanilla extract. And then... Um, natural chocolate chocolate flavor and sea salt so these are vegan there's no animal products in these waffles and they're delicious um and then again right there it says vegan something else that's really really important is 
almost all in the ingredients list, it'll say contains and then it'll say something. So that's a really easy place to look. Instead of reading every single ingredient, you can just go here where it says contains and most things will say contain milk or contain eggs. And you'll see, oh, contains milk, not vegan. So that's a real a shortcut to, instead of reading the entire ingredient list, you can just go right there and say contain, it'll say contains milk. And this, all it says here is contains soy, so I know it's vegan. <clears throat> And so the, the, this one, the cereal that I was just showing you, uh, contains wheat, that's all. And then produced in a facility that uses soy, peanuts, and tree nuts. So that's something else. Sometimes that'll say produced in a facility that uses milk. That doesn't mean it has milk in it. It'll say contained or produced in a facility that also has milk in that facility. That's an allergy warning. So if someone is allergic to tree nuts or peanuts, that's just a warning that says this cereal is produced in a facility that also has peanuts in it to warn people of allergies. So that doesn't mean there's pe there peanuts is an ingredient. It's just in the same facility. <clears throat> Boom. This is amazing. My wife and I do a lot of shopping at Trader Joe's. This is a cheese sauce. We just used it in our breakfast burrito. It was so good. <clears throat> and look at right on the front, dairy free. Cheese dip alternative. Cashew fiesta dip. But even then, you can't always trust something that says dairy free. So to the ingredients we go, boom, shortcut right there just says contains cashews. And I'll still I'll still even read the if it's my first time buying it, I'll always read the ingredients. So this cheese is this cheese is amazing. It's just cashews, potatoes, carrots, onions, green chili peppers, tomato paste, sea salt, distilled vinegar, garlic, natural flavors, and jalapeno. And it's cheese. <laughs> and it's amazing and healthy. It's plants. Trader Joe's highly recommend cheese alternative. This is a really, really good chili also from Trader Joe's. Like I said, my wife and I do our shopping at Trader Joe's right now. Definitely, they have a lot of great vegan products. So this uh, chili, let's see what it says here. Oh, boom, right there, vegan. But again, first time buying it, I'm still gonna go check out the ingredients. Um, because a lot of chilies, what do they have in it? Meat, right? Um, so this one is black beans, butternut squash, tomatoes, sweet potato, cauliflower, Lentils, quinoa, tomato, pepper, garlic, sea salt, coriander, turmeric, cayenne, paprika. Vegan. And really, really good chili. No meat. Um, and so there you have it. That was just kind of an introduction. This is one of the most important things. Literally the first time you go shopping, first time I, my wife and I started doing this, literally you're just stopping every single thing you pick up. I still do it today. I don't ever buy anything new. Obviously this is stuff I buy so I know. But if I ever buy something new, the first thing I'm doing is looking at the ingredients to see what's in it. And it's kind of fun. It's not like a burden. It's fun. I love food and I, these, these waffles, this cereal, this food is amazing. And um, I, in the last video, I shared with you guys my why. This is part of my why. Those three things keep me going. I don't want to eat something that has milk or eggs or meat in it anymore. I don't have that desire. And so this is just part of the process. It's fun. It's a new journey. Um, and so, like I said, this is one of the most important things to learn is the ingredients, seeing what is, what is in the food that you are eating. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Those are just, that's just uh, an introduction and, and um, some of the things I eat here and a way to see and read what is in the food that you're buying. Most people, like I used to, never in a million years did I ever think to stop and read the ingredients, ever. I didn't know what that meant. What are we taught? We're taught to read the nutrition facts, right? Calories, <laughs> sugar, cholesterol, sodium, fat. That's what we're taught to learn, but what's important is, is the ingredients. And, you know, before I would just go to the store and just, oh, that looks good. I'm going to buy this, buy that, buy with no clue of the ingredients that are going inside my body. 
So the, my, the number one reason for my transition, like I shared yesterday in the other video, our first video, was for my health. So I want to know, I want to know what I'm putting inside my body and what it's doing to me. Um, and, and then we do that by reading the ingredients. And um, there you have it. Hope this video was helpful. This is really important to learn. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any more questions in regards to this topic. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.